Hello there, all you beautiful thrill seekers. My name is Ghost Shadow Stubborn, but built for theme parks, and welcome to Ghost Chat YouTube channel. Hello there guys, Coast Shell here, Dunkster Born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park newsroom update from Futuroscope. Now this is on a brand new attraction coming to the park in 2021, and this is actually not involved with all the stuff we revealed on a massive update back in 2020, late 2020, about the Vision 2025 project for the park. Now of course that's the sort of next five year development that we sort of heard about, uh, we revealed all the details on that. This is something else that's happening in 2021 aside from what's already been announced as part of the project now this is on a extension and refurbishment of an existing attraction this is an extra renovation uh so we're sharing all the details about it share with you the concept of what the newly look attraction is going to look like and what attraction in question is going to be renovated but before we get started with all of that make sure you like the video if you loved it comment down below your thoughts and opinions on all of this subscribe to the channel click the notification bell so you never miss another video we have just hit 2,100 subscribers, which is fantastic. Thank you all so, so much. The next stage is 2,200 subscribers. So please, please, please get your subscriptions in. Also, guys, if you want to check the description down below, not only can you find links to the Discord server where you, yes, you, can be part of the Coast Shell fan base and get into interactive videos, etc., but also there's links to Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and Snapchat. All of them by Coast Shell, all of them my personal social. So get down there, get following, and let's get Coast Shell spread across the world in other social media platforms. And for now, guys, let's have a look at all the details surrounding this attraction renovation for 2021 at Futuroscope. So as per usual with Futuroscope, it's go big or go home, and that's exactly what they've done. They're going big with this rethematization, as we specifically call it. Uh, this is the new Adventure Eclabuse. Now, this is a renovation of one of their current attractions. This is the um, renovation of Mission Eclabuse, which was inaugurated back in 2007. It used the same body of water as Sauvetage Academy and the Stadium Aqualampique. Aqualampique. I think that's how it's pronounced. Uh, my French is terrible. <laughs> um, so, a uh, this specific attraction is located in the Futuropolis, is, uh, which is the children's area. Uh, so, Fut Futuropolis. It's hard to say these things, isn't it? Futuro Futuropolis. <laughs> That's the location of this children's attraction. And basically, this is where the attraction's renovation is taking place. Located in the centre of the park, it underwent an overhaul in 2019. Because, of course, until 2018, this area was called Le Monde des Enfants. And from 2019 onwards, it was known as Futuropolis. <laughs> Hard to say. Um... But yes, this attraction used the same body of water, so Splashing Mission, for the, uh, that's the English version of the name. Uh, so for those of you who need to know what Splashing Mission, or also known in French as uh, Mission Eclabuse, is all about, basically this is a splashing type attraction where visitors can spray other boats with water cannons that can shoot at targets as well, triggering, effe triggering effects in brackets, but no specific theming surrounds the path. From April 2021, Mission Eclabuse becomes Ad Adventure Eclabuse uh, and adopts a marsh theme by keeping the same route. Visitors will go on expedition in the marshes of Futuropolis aboard one of 12 airboats arranged on the path, which the shells were made from recycled bottles, so very eco-friendly attraction, very nice to hear. A young adventurer by the name of Mac Dundee has buried his treasure in the swamp and visitors will have to hit the targets with their water cannons during their adventure in order to reveal it. The park promises mysterious vegetation and strange fauna in the heart of the marsh. One can ask, however, the question how the park will integrate this marsh into Futuropolis and even, more generally, in the environment of Futuroscope without denoting the infrastructures with the futuristic modern look of the complex. That answer will come in when the ride reopens in April 2021. Big, big story here from Futuropolis, and it's really nice to see the rethematization of a classic family attraction. So that's all the information, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seekers of all ages from Airtime News. That was the article source of all this information and the concept arts as well. Obviously, there's another article on Parker Lebnis. I've linked both the Parker Lebnis article and the Airtime News article in the description down below. So make sure you go check them out as well, as well as all my other socials as well, and the Discord server, and where you can submit your video ideas as well. Google Forms link in the description down below. But 
thank you very much to Airtime News for all the information on this. Parker Lebanon's put out amazing articles as well. Again, go and check both of them out. Uh, but overall, I'm really excited about this. I think the Futuroscope's putting a really nice attraction in. And I think that overall they're doing a really cool job with getting this ready for April 2021. Uh, you know, we're going to have this marsh theme. It's interesting how it's, it is going to integrate into the modern futuristic look of Futuroscope and the Futuropolis area specifically. Um, I love the name change from uh, from Mission Eclabuse to Adventure Eclabuse. So I'm guessing it means splashing adventure rather than splashing mission, um, which is lovely. So I think the overall Futuroscope really starting to thematize their attractions. Obviously, we knew from the start about this story that, and I said it at the start of the video as well, this is not part of their Vision 2025 plan. This is not part of their next five years. Uh, this is an extra addition as well. So it's good to see Futuroscope still adding stuff that we didn't expect, um, especially with the, the five-year plan being released. So they can still do some nice thematizations, re-thematizations elsewhere around the park and go off course sometimes with the, the five-year plan, which is lovely. And, you know, I think the, the changes to this ride could be very very impressive you saw by the concept arts different uh, buildings and sort of changes to the path etc it's a very very nice stuff there and i think the overall futuroscope really can be proud of themselves with what they're set to do here with this attraction uh, so overall if i was to share my thoughts overall futuroscope really put in the the heavy thinking on theme thematization the re-thematization of the attraction and the adding of theming to create the marshland feel of this attraction and Futuroscope definitely doing a good job to put all of this into effect and create this wonderful family experience. Uh, so there we go. Thank you very, very much for watching this theme park newsroom update on Futuroscope's brand new family attraction rethematization, known now as Adventure Eclabuse, opening in April 2021. So if you're down there locally, if the park opens in April and COVID doesn't get in the way, then please send in your reviews. Use the rest of the social media links. Make sure you send me some reviews on Instagram. If you experienced any new attractions so far around the world use my instagram dm me on twitter uh, snapchat tiktok wherever um send a message to me and i'll be able to get your reviews out there from from other people i'll be able to get your reviews out there and that's something i want to do this year with the channel i want to get your reviews out there so if there's any attractions that i've not been to yet and you want to share your thoughts on send them in i'd love to do your reviews and make this channel even more interactive with you lot the chow nation uh, but there we go, guys. Thank you very, very much. My name is Coast Shell. Keep them in the coast of life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a futuristic day.